Quebecers deserve the best. <laughs> <laughs> so we got the bagger fucking lot 420 in the building, man. We got JR here. The underground's been talking a lot for this fucking guy. Look at this screen scene for this guy over yeah. here, this banger, you know. But yeah, man, introduce yourself. Tell me what's up. So yeah, I'm JR. I'm um, chief operating officer at Law 420. So basically, I'm kind of uh, me and my partner, Stefan, we're kind of the founders of the company. And uh, yeah, we're producing cannabis. We've been in the medical before, right? We had a little, some little projects in the medical. That's how we kind of uh, came up, you know? And um, now we're in, we got an LP out in Quebec in the Eastern Townships, man. And we hire about 30 people and we fucking grow the best weed we can. That's, that's, that's the whole, about. that's the game, man. But what you guys did different um, that, you, you know, when we talked before is that, there's a, there's, a, there's a meaning behind the lot 420. So tell everybody what that even means. Yeah, so basically what it is, is that uh, we, we all came up in Montreal, like the core team here is all from Montreal. And we, this, we, we, we found some land in the Eastern townships out in the country, you know, next to the American border. And uh, it's like, this is about seven years ago, right? So, after, and we kind of decided, let's fucking try to do this project, right? So we went, we started the whole process and we went through the application. It took about five years, financing, all of this stuff. And we all settled on this 50 acres that the company owns now. And we have a brand new building on it. And uh, yeah, so we have like a land that we cultivate, that we grow our vegetables and stuff. So it's basically the plot of land is kind of baptized lot 420, right? So this is where most of our lives have been orchestrated around this plot of land for the past couple of years so this is why we kind of named it that because not so many people know that you can have a thousand seeds and they could all be shit so the fact that you guys just found this banger and just kept perfecting it perfecting it perfecting it it's it's crazy and like you know the, i'm sure you guys notice the difference is batch over batch and kind of have it dialed in and have to tweak this and that so yeah, yeah definitely uh, the more you do that one strain or whatever is trained, the more you do them, the more you, you get to know them, right? It's, this is like uh, knowing someone as a person, growing it in a consistent way and making it like always to the, to the same level, every single crop, that's, that's, the, that's the art of it, right? And, yeah. and we've kind of, with gelato, we've mastered that. We've mastered other strains as well. It's just that this was kind of, in, in terms of how do you bring out products to market, this was the way to go for us. Bring out one banger, fucking get it out there get her name out there and now we're going to start to come out with some new stuff and, and yeah can you the people want to know man can you tell us is there any new what can you tell us any new bangers that are coming out or is that to keep top yeah but right now like... right now we're every single time we're coming out with a new skew not in ontario it's not ready yet but in bc and in quebec will be starting ontario will be coming right, right after because it takes a long time right to get the skews and all and present it to the ocs and all that stuff so we're in that process right now. And uh, yeah, we're bringing out this cue called Off Menu. And it's going to be whatever is off the menu, right? Right now, gelatos are only on menu skew. But we're going to start bringing Off Menu and it'll be all our strains kind of one after the other. So we're doing tests and we're going to be running these strains and we're going to put them all in the Off Menu. So you'll get one batch at one moment. And after the next next one, you come back, you'll probably get another one, and this and that. So this will be our kind of way to to to, to let us to let the consumer, to, so they can tell us and tell you guys, right, at the stores and stuff, what 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 flavors you like the best, right? We're searching for flavor and and consistency here, and we're we're going to get everybody involved in this. And I think dispensaries and all and consumers and the growers should all kind of have good communication within the, those circles to be able to, to get, we want to get the best product out there, easy for you and happy for happy customers. You know, that's what we're looking for. Yeah. The best growers are not LPs, right? They're not in the LP market. Let's just get that straight. The best yeah. growers are a legacy. Okay. Yeah. Everybody knows that whoever is, says else, uh, something else, they're stupid, right? They're not, they don't know what they're talking about. So the connection, the vibe you get with whoever yeah. you're dealing with, you know, you don't want to get fucked over because this happens a lot as well. You know, be careful about that. That's what we're very careful. You sign contracts and shit doesn't mean anything, man. When oh, yeah. somebody wants to fuck you, they'll fuck you. Oh, yeah. Everybody knows how to grow until they can't, right? And that's the, yeah. the shit part. And that's the half the fucking battle, dude. The other half of the battle is like, is the customer going to like it? Yes or no. 
right? And that's when the fucking dealer comes and we go to you guys, he'd be like, you sure this is a banger? Yeah, bro, try it. Could we try it? I think it's a banger. We can give it to the customer. They're just like, eh. meeting. <laughs> dude, I never thought in my life I'd be meeting, you know, suppliers out in Quebec, the bangers out there. Because usually it was just our block, which extended to our city. And then that's about it. But now we're going yeah. fucking coast to coast, dude. And it's, it's beautiful. It's like, okay, let's do this. Like we have a point to fucking prove here. Definitely. So. And then last note. What do you want to tell the customers out there about Lot 420? What, what do you want to tell the people? Now's your chance to do it. Well, basically, I think we want to satisfy the customer. We want people to be happy about the products they're buying. So we're trying every single moment of the day to, to refine every aspect of what we do to satisfy customers. So tell us what you feel, right? And we want to know. We want to know. And we're going to be doing this more and more. And the whole concept of off menu is to kind of get the people to tell us which ones they like the best. Obviously, it's going to be very difficult because it can't be unanimous. Different people like different flavors, but we're going to try to satisfy as many people as we can. And we're working tirelessly over here to, to make sure that this is what we do. And we're consumers as well. So we're sati- if you guys are satisfied, usually we'll be satisfied as well. For, for the man himself. JR, Chief Operating Officer from Lot 420, the Quebec fucking bangers out there. You know, we got it stocked up here. You know, this is going to be on our shelf space all the time. And, you know, I, we, we trust you guys. And yeah, you got it. You guys heard it from himself. JR, Nick from Want Rose TV. And we're out.